Hi Bells, welcome back and if this is your first video, welcome. I have a feeling that I had to get a little retail therapy done. picked up some product at Walgreens and I'm going to show you what I got. First we're going to start with nails. And I purchased the Sally Henson Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And this is in the color Pucker Up. Now this is the color that I am wearing on my nails right now. One of my friends was going through my nail polish collection and she said, you have all these amazing colors, how do you not have a true red? So I went ahead and picked this one up. I am not a fan of this color. I've been wearing it for about three days now and it's already chipping. The shine is completely non-existent at this point. About three coats to get it to where it's at right now. And even on a couple of the nails, I could tell that three coats doesn't really give you that opaque color. So definitely will not be purchasing this item again. Now one item that I did pick up that is my holy grail, can't live without this fast dry nail polish, is the Sally Henson Insta Dry. It's in the red bottle. The stuff is amazing. You put it on, it gives it a great shine. Your nail polish is dried in a minute. The only downside I have to this product is that once you get to like the last third of the bottle, it gets really thick and gloppy. So you have to go ahead and just toss that one out and get a new one, but I absolutely love this product and purchase it over and over and over again. Next two things I got were from the I Love Nail Art and it's just the style pens. I got one in black and one in white. The tips on these are both fine tip and it's just like marker. You shake them up, squeeze it out, and you can draw your design. I have purchased these before as well. These are the two colors that I use the most, so I've had to pick up some new ones on it. They make doing your designs really simple. I know some people have issues with using the stripers. You have a lot more control when using the pens than you do stripers. So great product if you're just starting out trying to do nail art to give you a little confidence boost at getting it completed. Now let's move on to lips. Uh, what Right when I walked in there was a display for the L'Oreal Glossy Balm a new lip balm that they have out and this one is in the color 220 Innocent Coral. Let me give you a swatch of this. So there we have a very pinky corally color and even when you wipe it out it does get a little sheer but still gives you that little hint of color. This item would be great for work if you work somewhere where you can't be totally made up while you're there um, but wanted to have a little bit of something and I thought this would be a great color. They, I, they come in I think nine different shades. The Walgreens that I went to only had four or five available. One was totally nude so I didn't want to pick that up and the other ones were really dark and I'm not a dark lip person so went ahead and picked this one up and I'll let you know how it works out. Okay, next is an item that has been around for a long time. It is the Wet n Wild, it is the Wet n Wild Blush in Mellow Wine. Now, I used Wet n Wild back in the day when I first started getting makeup, I think this is the brand that I started with when I was like 13, 14 years old. And as I got older, I moved on to 
different brands, went up to prestige brands, and never really gave Wet n Wild a second thought. But I've been watching some other videos and everyone keeps mentioning Wet n Wild. So I decided to give them a try again and see if I could break the ideal that it's only for younger people. But let me give you a swatch. There is the finger swatch of it. And let's wipe that on there. So it's not super pigmented. Let me see if I can get a little bit more on there. Oh, there we go. It layers nicely. It's a lovely color. So I'll be giving that a try and seeing how it goes. Okay, the next two items that I picked up were both eye colors. And they are both... They are both from Maybelline. It is their color tattoo. One is a metal. The other one is just the regular color tattoo. First one I got was inked in pink. It says it's a 24 hour color. It's a shimmery. It's a shimmery pink color. And this is the metal. And the other and the other color I got was 35 Tough as Taupe. And it looks like a satin taupey color. Let's go ahead and swatch these. Okay, so this is the pink color. And it is very shimmery. I absolutely love that. That is a beautiful color. And now let's move on to the taupe. I'm running out of places to swatch it. Oh wow, that is super pigmented. It is a beautiful taupey color. It does have a little... There we go. So I will definitely enjoy trying these out, playing with them, and seeing what looks I come up for them. Okay, and last I got three different mascaras. Now, I have a mascara that I swear by. It is usually the only one that I will use. Usually the only one that I will use. But since all these new mascaras were coming out, I decided to go ahead and pick up some different ones and I will be doing a video strictly on mascara. Now the mascara that I use all the time is the Benefits Their Real Mascara. I love it. It gives length. It gives volume. It is a great black color. I just can't speak highly enough about it, but I decided to try to pick up some drugstore brands, see if they can give the same results that the benefits they're real gives me. So the first one that I got, Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam, and this one is a waterproof. Next one was the Maybelline Volume Express The Rocket. Now, one thing I really did like about this one is I like when they have the brush out so you could see what type of brush you're getting with it. The last one I got is the Milani Total Lash Cover that has this weird three zone brush. Be on the lookout for the upcoming video on all these mascaras along with some of the other ones I have to see which ones give the best results. Alright, that is everything I have for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are not already subscribed, I will leave a subscribe button somewhere up here. If you liked it, please give this video a like down below. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button up above to be part of the Bells family. And that is all for today. I will see you all later. Bye guys.